I've already created the first half of the mask just to save time, so for the second half we're going to use some black feathers. Basically, if you want to create a really easy mask, you want to use feathers which are the same colour as the mask. So I'm going to be using these black goose feathers, and picking out the amount I think I'll use, I'm going to need some scissors and some glue. Now after cutting one of the larger feathers into smaller sizes, I'm going to start off with the nose. So just apply a tiny little bit of glue after the feathers, and then taking the feathers that you just cut down, we're going to apply them and hold them there until the glue dries. After this you're going to have to use smaller feathers, so what we're going to do is cut one of the larger feathers just to get the smaller strands. You're going to need quite a lot of these, so I'm guessing you'll have to use between 6 to 7 feathers to cut up. Now taking the glue, cover a tiny bit more of the mask, and taking each individual feather, apply it on the glue, and try and make sure that they all point outwardly. And then again, once the glue is dried, start this process all over again. And now we're just going to be repeating this process all around the mask. Now once you've reached the upper half of the mask, we're going to be applying the glue again, and taking some of the larger feathers, we're going to apply them on the glue. You're probably going to use about three to four of these, possibly more, it depends. You basically just want to get them to an even amount as the opposite side of the mask, otherwise it will look a little bit ridiculous. So once those have dried, you're going to need to cut down smaller sizes again, just so that it evens out into the other feathers. And once you've cut enough of these, you're going to place these on the side of the large feathers. Once the glue is dried, you're going to put another load all over the feathers and try and fill in all the patches between the feathers. So you're going to be taking what remains of the smaller sized feathers and filling in the gaps. Now basically all you have to do is take the really small feathers and just keep on applying them all around the edge of the mask to fill in the gaps. This is the worst part of the mask because you'll probably spend about an hour doing this, but the end results are fantastic. So now using some black glitter, this can be any kind of glitter, it can be from a craft store or anywhere else, it doesn't have to be anything special. So you want something to catch the glitter as you don't want to make a massive mess all over your desk. And in chunks, you're just going to fill in small patches of the mask. Once you've done that, sprinkle the glitter all over it. And then dust off all the excess. Are you going to repeat this whole process over the rest of the mask? Are you going to want to use some dramatic false lashes, anything which is really large and fluffy and completely out there? So first of all, just bend them to make them more flexible, this will make it easier to apply onto the mask, and cut off any edges if there are any. The glue and line the entire upper half of the lid. Once you've done this, take one of the lashes and apply it on the outer corner. Obviously they're not going to be big enough to cover the entire lid. And take the second pair and apply it on the inner corner. Make sure that they're really strongly fixed, otherwise they'll just flick off. Now I'm going to be taking a less voluminous pair of lashes and applying some glue just as if it was duo glue on the lash line. Then you're going to take it and apply it in between the two lashes which were on the lash line previously. This will hide the fact that it's two lashes and make it look more like it's one very large lash line. Now we're going to be using silver nail varnish. 
so I'm going to be taking my silver nail varnish and just lining the lower lid. And I'll gently fade it out. You don't have to be very neat on this because now we're going to hide the rest of it. So just place a little bit on your work mat and take a dotting tool. We're going to be using both ends of the dotting tool and just randomly placing dots all along the lower lid. Now I'm going to be using some rhinestones. So using a wet cotton bud to pick them up, I'm going to be taking the glue and putting a good load right on the outer corner of the eye. Make sure it's a really thick line because you're going to be holding the rhinestones right there. So apply a line of them all over the glue. And once that's done, we're going to be taking the glue and applying a small glob right in the inner corner of the eye and a few random dots all around the rest of the lower lid. Now take the rhinestones and apply them wherever you applied the glue. Now with the second pair of lashes, again the thinner kind, I'm going to be applying the glue along the lash line and applying them just over where I applied the line of rhinestones. Now to finish off I'm going to be taking the Glam Crystals eyeliner and running it all over the lashes on the upper lid. So just lightly brush it through the lashes to give it a bit of a shine, or a lot of a shine if you want to, and you're done. <laughs>